What laptop is best for a mechanical engineer today? Hey everyone, Kweku Gestos here. In this video, I'll walk you through how to select the best laptop for a mechanical engineering student. I'll tell you the features to look out for when buying a laptop as a mechanical engineer. Let us talk about the screen size. When it comes to selecting the screen size for your laptops, we have 14 inches, 15 inches, 16 inches, 17 inches, 18 inches, so on and so forth. But the best screen size I recommend for you is the 15 inches. This is because the 15 inches gives you enough working environment that is to do your 2D or your 3D drawings and also it is very portable to carry around with you on campus Let us talk about the screen Now with the screen, I recommend you not to go in for a touch screen because no car software will require you to have a touch screen before it operates Just basically go in for a full HD or a HD screen with a higher refresh rate Let us talk about the operating system As a mechanical engineering student we all know that we are prone and we are used to downloading of softwares like the AutoCAD, the Autodex Inventor, the SolidWorks and other simulation softwares. Now, when you use a MacBook, you are restricted to the kind of application or software you download on your laptop compared to that of a Windows laptop. So I recommend you choosing a Windows laptop when buying a laptop. We have so far discussed two main things, that is the operating system and also the screen size. Let's talk about the storage. Now with the storage, you want to go in for a 500 gigabyte of storage. And also, when buying the storage device, make sure you select the solid state drive, that is the SSD, over the hard disk drive, that is the HDD. This is because the solid state drive gives a fast boost time compared to that of the HDD. And also, the solid state drive opens softwares more faster compared to that of the HDD. So I recommend you go in for a 500 gig solid state drive for your laptop. Let us discuss the RAM, that is the random access memory. And what this basically do in a laptop or computer, it basically stores every file you open or every software you open. It stores the data or it tries the data of that particular software on the RAM. So you would want to go in for a higher RAM, that is 8 gig or 16 gigabytes of RAM for your laptop. This will help you open multiple tasks and help you in multitasking. That is opening two software or three or more at a go without any struggle. You wouldn't want to see your computer behaving like this. So it is better you go in for a higher RAM that is 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes depending on the budget you are working with. Having discussed about the storage, the memory and the screen size, let us talk about the CPU. That is the central processing unit. Now, the central processing unit, there are basically two main companies producing the central processing unit we use. That is the CPU we use. These are the Intel and the AMD. You can't go wrong with either of these two. But with the Intel version, I recommend you go in for Core i5, that is the 7th gen or more, or Core i7, that is the 7th gen or more. When I say 7th gen, I mean 7th generation. And with the AMD version, I recommend you going in for Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7. This all depends on your budget and how much money you want to spend on a laptop to use as a mechanical engineering student. Talking about the GPU, that is the graphic processing unit, you want to go in for a laptop that has a dedicated graphic unit for its system. That is either NVIDIA or AMD. And with the NVIDIA, I recommend you go in for a GTX version. Since we are students and we are working within a budget, don't stress yourself much going in for the RTX version. That is the RTX 30 and the RTX 20 or 40 series. Go in for the GTX version. That is very simple. And this is for your simulation and rendering works in AutoCAD, SolidWorks or Inventor. Students, we all know that we want to carry our laptops around campus and other staffs. So we recommend you that you go in for a laptop that has higher battery life. With my laptop, it has a lower battery life. This is due to the dedicated graphic card in it. So I normally plug it anywhere I go. But with my recommendation, I recommend you that you go in for a laptop with higher battery life. And this will help you a lot because on campus, it is not anywhere that has what charging plug or charging socket. So with a port, I recommend you go in for a normal laptop with a normal port. That is the either one USB-C port and 
one USB A port and also make sure that the laptop you want to buy has a HDMI slot because of presentations on campus and other stuff. You want to have HDMI port. So as mechanical engineering student, make sure that the laptop you are going in for has more functions over style. You want to choose functions over style. You want to choose more comfortable laptop over the style. So I recommend you going for the more fun scenes over the stuff. Right, so bringing this video to an end, let me touch a little bit on what we've discussed so far. So we've talked about the screen size and I said with the screen size, you have to go in for a 15 inches laptop. And also with the storage, you'd want to go in for a 500 gigabyte storage. That is a solid state drive. And also with the memory, 8 gig memory or 16 gig memory will do. With a CPU, I recommend you go in for whether if the Intel version you go in for Core i5, Core i7, and from 7th gen and above. And with the AMD version, the Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 will do. And also, don't select a laptop with a touch screen. Last but not the least, you have to go in for a laptop with at least 7 hours or 6 hours of battery life. This will help you keep up with the stuff you do on your campuses. I'll be showing you the kind of laptop I use, the specs and everything will be in the description below. Make sure you hit on the subscription button, make sure you hit on the like button, share the video.